Hello, friends, and welcome to Science Talk with your host, Reagan Parenton. Now, we see here on the screen I'm starting with this story. Why? Because it's crazy. Nearly 300 rabbits removed from this hoarder's home. Investigation is underway after police in Folsom in Calif California rescued nearly 300 rabbits who were living in poor conditions. They only allow for two rabbits per household. And so here was this woman <clears throat> who got eventually charged, or 45 days in jail, three years of probation, mental health counseling, definitely, after 300 bunnies. I mean, 200, and you, you need serious mental help. But <clears throat> 340? More than that? Uh, you're, like, criminally insane. She also has to pay $23,000 to the ASPCA in restitution. Now, that is some shit. Now, that's not the real story. This is the real story. A UK meteorite that fell to Earth contains building blocks for life. For real? <clears throat> meteorite saw thousands, or thousands saw it fall over Wichicombe. Not even going to try to pronounce that. In 2021, and it contains organic compounds. Okay? First meteorite in 30 years. Was it deliberate, or was this a fluke, an accident? Let's move on. Look at these water... Alarming, change, alarming changes in the entire global water cycle. This picture is kind of blurry, to be honest with you, but you see whole swaths of uh, problems, heat waves, definitely around this area and in the Indo-Pacific. Um, flooding still going on. Okay, for real. In Thailand, they've had nothing but flooding, or Philippines, at, since Christmas. Um, and you know all these migrants are coming up because over here on it's just a mess, dude. You need to cover this gym massa. You need to go through this. It's nuts. But can we say aerosol masking? Can somebody please say aerosol masking in the comments? May have hidden true extent of global heating. Okay, material from dry landscape has surged since the 1800s, possibly, possibly helping to cool the planet for decades. Dust that billows, billows up from desert storms and landscape has helped cool the planet for the past several decades. Okay? It's what they've been predicting for a long time. I'm just going to skip through these article, articles, guys. We've had the emergency break on, says this physis, atmospheric physicist at UCLA. Okay? Can somebody say aerosol masking? Where are you at? When are you going to come down? Come down to the States? Okay, I'm not going to go through this, but... This is the first review of all kinds of things that brings it together, that it's been shielding us, all right? And we're about to go into El Nino. That's okay. One in four Americans are putting off major life decisions out of fear of climate change, survey finds. So, shifting, you know, temperatures making people think twice. It's out. Thousands of adults are, de uh, are considering delaying major life decisions. You're talking to them. But in different countries, participants in the U.S. at least, um, they shared a sense of urgency with the rest of the world. The results tell us that Americans feel it is time to act. Oops. Too late. About 30 years, 50 years too late. Let's start there. But that would have never resolved because we had the agriculture way before that. Large-scale agriculture, but I'm not going to go off on a tangent. Look. Huh. Nope, nobody cares. Because we fly to Davos. This is what humans do. They fly across the planet in their private jets. Yeah, a lot of you guys were, were commenting about that. And look, it's fun. Straw man logical fallacy is fun. It, it's like going on a ride, right? You know you know it's going to be a, a thrill, but you know it's short-lived. It's not really all that's cracked up to be. Because everybody's to blame. Everybody, everything, entire system... Check it out. All these planes they flew in with. It's the equivalent to putting roughly 350,000 gas-powered cars on the road. Are you are you kidding me, Jim Massa? Is this real? What is their problem? What is this woman's problem who took 340 rabbits? Like, for real, what is her problem? And it was, like, much hotter there. So... 1,040 private jets flew in. Some were short, some were, some were long. But the... Are you kidding me? And they're just repeating what he said. Money, money, money. 
they have an adequate rail station, but these people can't take a trip as short as 21 kilometers. Many of them flew in. Okay. Some of my subscribers know that. Luckily, you're not in Texas or anywhere. You're actually, you're unlucky everywhere. Texas study uh, blames climate change for driving up food prices. Look at this map for this year. Look at the drought. I lived up there, right? Somewhere around there. Big city. Dallas, Fort Worth, right here. Austin, like down here in San Marcos. I don't know which... But anyways, it's been because of the COVID-19 pandemic, higher fertilizer costs and higher energy prices. And now we're getting hit with the bird flu and everybody's freaking out. Oh, eggs are $9. Well, science. Bird flu. Furthermore, we're just going to move them. We're just going to move the animals as a last resort in a desperate effort to save a seabird species in Hawaii from rising oceans. They're thinking about moving chicks to a new island 100 miles away. Are you... What? Are you kidding? The moving species to save save them. We've done this before, guys, many times, and they end up exploding in a new region or having an invasive species, and that's what they're warning about. But these places are washing away. So, like, what do we do? We just keep moving animals around? We just move the planet because, you know, that's asking a lot. Like, we're eventually we're going to have to ask, oh, is this animal okay or this or not? Like, we start picking and choosing which ones to wipe out because we just... We could not not produce another Johnny and, and Sally, you know, and, and babies all around the world, dude. People having kids still. I'm not going to go through this. Animals are critically endangered. There's a problem. We clearly have a problem. All right. I want to end on that. We clearly have a fucking problem. And um, there's no resolution. It's just going to get worse. So now you know. John Kerry said it. We're blown past 1.5. Hit like and subscribe if you want to become a member. There's a super thanks and PayPal donation link below. These are hard times. Your contributions mean a lot. Have a good week, realist. I'll talk to you soon.